It was an explosion fueled by greed, blowing up a shop in an attempt to cash in on the insurance, resulting only in enormous devastation. Mary Ragubia and her teenage sons, Sean and Shane, were at home in their flat upstairs. They were killed along with Shane's girlfriend, Leah Reek, who was staying with the family that evening. The light went out of our world on that terrible night and it is so difficult to put into words how much we miss Leah. She was an amazing, inspirational young lady who was just starting out on her life adventure. It makes us angry and breaks our hearts that we'll never get the chance to see Leah reach her full potential in life. The blast was like a bomb going off, according to those who heard and felt it. What the first police officers didn't know was this was deliberate and they were about to speak to the man responsible, the shopkeeper, Aram Kurd. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, he says. No, OK. But the very next morning, he spoke to ITV News. We asked him how it had happened. I don't know. Could be anything. Could be anything. I don't know. What do you think it could be? Do you have any ideas? No. Bang like this? I don't know. He was lying. Today, he was convicted of murder for organising the explosion alongside two accomplices, Hawker Hassan and Arkan Ali. His girlfriend, Victoria Ievleva, was also part of the plot, taking out insurance, even buying smoke alarms to make sure it was valid. They bought 26 litres of petrol, which they poured in the basement. They didn't care if people died here. In fact, that was their intention, because on the night they betrayed Victoria, who was in the shop but wasn't told it was about to explode, and was killed. The next day, Kurd pretended to be worried about her. I really hope that she's alive. And what about people above? Do you know how many people lived above? The... I don't know. I know there is some family. They are good people. Forget about the money, what I put inside. Most important, life. In reality, police say the money was all he cared about. This was quite clearly a truly devastating incident, motivated by greed, which was demonstrating a total lack of regard for human life, robbing families and friends of a future with those that tragically lost their lives that evening. The men had hoped to claim £300,000 as a result of the explosion. Instead, they each face a life sentence for the destruction and grief they caused. Ben Chapman, ITV News, Leicester.